Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share another mini album project with you. For this project, I did use the Photo Play Winter Meadow 12x12 paper collection. You get the papers as well as the 12x12 uh, stickers. And this has kind of got a Christmas theme to it, but I tried to stay away from the Christmas section and just went ahead and just made it as a winter project. Um, and anyway, I got this paper from Jody from Photo Play. He sent this to me, so thank you, Jody. I appreciate it. So here's what he created. Again, it's a mini album. Um, it's pretty simple in the front, but hello, that little raccoon has got to be the cutest thing ever. <laughs> That's from the cutout page. It's a 4x4 cutout. I mounted it on some solid cardstock that I had in my stash. Kind of a teal color that matches his little hat. Punched out a snowflake with the Martha Stewart snowflake punch using some glitter paper I had in my stash. And then I put a large bling in the middle. And then on his little hat, just to add some dimension, I used my Nouveau Crystal Drops in Simply White right there on the front and then I used uh, early espresso distress ink around all the edges and I used that same glitter paper for the spine piece and then here is the back with the pretty snowflake paper so the mini album the pages are six by six square and so my covers are six and a quarter by six and a quarter the spine is one and a half there's three page units in here, but you'll see that you get quite a bit of room for photos. And I do have a tutorial already on my channel showing how to make this page in several different sizes. And this is the six by six size. So on the inside front cover, I used, um, oh, I also had the ephemera pack. So I did use the ephemera pack for this little shaker element. I had some sequins, stuck a sticker in there and a piece of acetate. And then again, I punched out another Snowflake, I used a Fiskars and the Martha Stewart one here, and this is from the ephemera pack. I put it on some dimensional foam tape. And so I just made a little shaker element. I thought that was kind of cute on the inside front cover. So here's the first page. What I did was I kind of folded it and made a little um, flip out right here. Again, another snowflake here. This is some of the design paper. I used a Fiskars border punch right here. So it opens it up, and I put some white cardstock. So you could do some journaling here if you want. And then it flips open and again some more of the paper, another sticker, and then here's a pocket page with a sticker and another 3x4 card. I love the sled. I thought it was really cute. So, you know, again, there's a little wreath with maybe some Christmas bells, but I'm telling myself it's not Christmas. It's a winter-themed project. <laughs> These little photo mats here are going to be 5 and a half by 5 and then they're plain on the back, and I used a solid color uh, cardstock for these. Those go back in there. And then you have a side pocket here, again, and the side pockets are going to be a little bit bigger. They're going to be five and three quarters by five and three quarters square. And then I use the new Stampin' Up! tab punch to make the tabs. And then I put white card stuck on the back for either a photo or journaling, either one. So I thought it'd be cute to journal here and then put your picture here so you could have it with a pretty teal border. So you flip it over and on the back side again, I have another pocket, another cute little owl sticker. Again, another 3 by 4 card and another photo mat. And again, this has kind of got a few little Christmas ornaments, but, you know, I again, I'm saying this is a winter-themed project. <laughs> and then again, these are 3 by 4 Again, a cute little sticker here. I put it on this pretty uh, burgundy polka dot paper and just trimmed around it. I love the little cardinal and the little squirrel and their little winter scarves. It's super cute and little birch trees. And you flip it over and again, another uh, photo mat right here. So on the second page unit, that's, so that's just one page. And over here, again, I have the stripe paper. Um, these are the little pine cone stickers from the sticker sheet. I put this one on some dimensional foam tape. And again, my journaling spot and the cute snowflake paper. The colors in this collection are really fabulous. I wish I would have used it for Christmas, but, you know, Christmas came and went, so I'm using it for winter. Get another cute little sled sticker. I put it on some uh, white cardstock and fussy kind of route it so I could leave this side open right here. So you could tuck something in there if you wanted. Again, another strip of the border paper with a cute little owl. Love the little mason jar with the fox. <laughs> so cute. Oh, and I also used some green. Again, these were just solid colors that I had in my stash that I thought matched the collection. I think this is from Stampin' Up! And I think that teal colored one is from Basil. But don't quote me. And then again, here's the photo mat on this one. It's the green with the white on the back. So these are really plain, the photo mats on the ins inserts are. And then over here, again, some more um, design paper. 
This was a four by four cutout and I added the little deer sticker and two little heart stickers just to break up the solid space in there. And again, I inked around the edges with uh, early espresso. And there's that cute birch paper with the little owl and the cardinal in there with the little winter scarfs on. Over here, I used a circle punch and uh, put the sticker on some design paper and punched it out. Again, the cute tree paper and I did leave this open so you can tuck something underneath there if you want. And you flip it over again, another space for a photo. And again, that same cute little raccoon that was on the front cover. I put him on some cardstock, trimmed around, and popped him up on foam tape. So on the last page, again, I have that burgundy paper, the tree paper, the whites right there, and again, the same um, order punch, and it's from Fiskars. Over here is that cute little fox. Again, I put him on white cardstock and trimmed around him just so I could make a tuck spot. Now this is where I do have a few Christmas ornaments, but again, that's really the only Christmassy related item I have in here. But you know, they can be winter ornaments. <laughs> and I know I'm stretching it. Here's another three by four card. And again, another large photo map. Love the plaid. Be really nice for a masculine card, that um, plaid right there. I love this, the color combination of the burgundy and the teal. And a cute little Christmas tree sticker. Or winter tree sticker, I should say. Oops. Get another photo mat. And on the last page, again, I just layered up some of the stickers, a couple hearts, and another pine cone. And then here's the cute little mitten 3x4 cut apart. And then this one does say joy, just because it was the last one, and I went ahead and put it in here anyway. It's a 4x4 cut out. And then a photo mat here with all the cute little animals with their little winter scarves and hats on around the little snowflakes and stuff. Over here I used a layering circle framelit from Stampin' Up and I put the sticker on some white cardstock and then die cut around it so I'd have that little scallop border. And over here again another sticker from the sticker sheet. And then this is, I think I punched this out with a We Are Memory Keepers tab punch right here. Again that same paper right here. And on the back inside cover I had some scraps left so I just made a little tiny waterfall. I used the stickers here to embellish the front. I used that same glitter paper that I used on the spine and punched out a heart. And this was a cutout and I just trimmed it down and covered what was on here because I think it was like something about Noel or something and I again I wanted to keep it winter themed. So this opens up and it says happy winter here, the magnetic closure and then these are the little flaps for the waterfall and they'll hold two by three photos from your little Instax or your little pocket printer. And there is the back. So let me put these back in here before I forget. So there you go, everybody. That's my little winter themed mini album using the Photo Play Winter Meadow Collection that Jody from Photo Play sent me. So there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.